1934 poster advertising the Soviet film about Lt. Kijay. Lt. Kijay or Kija, originally Kiz, is a fictional character in an anecdote about the reign of Emperor Paul I of Russia. In which the cover-up of a transcription error leads to the creation of a fictional soldier, Kijay, and his rise through the ranks. When Paul asks to meet the now-renowned officer, the creators of the hoax are cornered into a final lie that the soldier has died in battle. The story was used as the basis of a novella by Yuri Tinyanov published in 1928 and filmed in 1934 with music by Sergei Prokofiev. The plot is a satire on bureaucracy. The first appearance of the anecdote is in Vladimir Dahl's Stories of the Time of Paul I, a short piece published in the journal Ruskaya Starina in 1870, he reported it as told by his father, Jochen Christian von Dahl. In this original version, a clerk miswrites an order promoting several ensigns to second lieutenants, instead of Praporshchiki Zh, V. Podporuchiki. They are promoted to, second lieutenants, he writes Praporshchik is, V. Podporuchiki, are promoted to, second lieutenants. The Emperor Paul decides to promote the non-existent Kiz to first lieutenant, he quickly rises through the ranks to staff captain and full captain, and when he is promoted to colonel the Emperor commands that Kiz appear before him. Of course no Kiz can be found, the military bureaucrats go through the paper trail and discover the original mistake, but they decide to tell the Emperor that Kiz has died. What a pity, the Emperor says, he was a good officer. Yuri Tinyanov, who had been researching the period for his historical novels Kuklia and Smert Vizir Mukhtara wrote a novella based on Dahl's story that was published in 1928 in Krasny in November no. 01. He considerably expanded it, adding several characters, and changed the imaginary officer's name from Kiz to Kizha. In his version, along with the imaginary Kizha there is another mistake, a lieutenant Sin Yukave is wrongly marked as dead. Several sections of the novella are devoted to Sin Yukave's fruitless attempts to get himself restored. Tinyana further complicates the story by adding a lady-in-waiting who has had a brief affair with an officer who shouts guard. In the courtyard, disturbing the emperor, when the offender cannot be found. The emperor Paul is told that it was Kija, who is accordingly flogged and sent to Siberia. This upsets the lady-in-waiting, but when the emperor changes his mind and has Kija returned to the capital and promoted, the lady-in-waiting is able to marry him, there is no groom at the ceremony but it proceeds as scheduled and she has a child from her brief encounter, and she quite happily lives in his quarters, carrying on affairs, while he is supposedly in the field with his regiment. In the end the emperor, increasingly paranoid and lonely, feels the need to have someone as dependable as Kisha near him, promotes him to general, and orders him brought to his palace in St. Petersburg. Since this is impossible, he is told that Kisha has died, and the general has a state funeral as the grieving emperor says sick transit Gloria Mundi. The last line of the story reads in Pavel Petrovich, the Emperor Paul, died in March of the same year as General Kija, according to official reports, from apoplexy. The story was made into the 1934 film Lieutenant Kija. Directed by Alexander Feinsimmer, which is now remembered primarily for its soundtrack, the first instance of the composer Prokofiev's new simplicity. The story is often parodied in fictional works making fun of bureaucracies, most famously in the form of the MASH episode Tull featuring a fictional captain of similar provenance. The conventional romanization of the title is Kija. The usual spelling Kija corresponds to correct pronunciation in French, but in many other languages, such as English, German, and Spanish, this French spelling often leads to mispronunciation. The sound is a voiced SH, and sounds like the S in measure when said by a speaker of American English. Also uses the French transliteration, Digikin, for his name, leading to similar mispronunciation. Thanks for watching.